can't leave, they'll stop you. Please, Anjin Sama, you must not involve yourself. Toronaga is planning something. Find out what it is. Only one episode left before the finale. What is up, everybody? Jeremy Eisenfire here, and welcome to my Shogun Episode 9 Preview Breakdown. After the incredible heroic and noble sacrifice from loyal servant Hiromatsu to help ensure Toronaga has a better chance at victory, we now get ready to enter the final two episodes of Shogun. The episode 9 trailer starts off with a scene between Mariko and Blackthorn within the walls of Osaka. We saw at the end of episode 8, Blackthorn, Yabushigi, and Mariko were all getting ready to head to Osaka in order to hand over the guns and cannons ahead of Toronaga's surrender. And in this scene, we hear Blackthorn saying to Mariko that she cannot leave and that they will attempt to stop her, with Mariko in turn pleading with Blackthorn not to get involved in this affair. And another thing we saw at the end of episode 8 was the plan that Toronaga was cooking up is beginning to take shape and bear fruit. And it seems like Mariko is going to play a vital part in this plan. If the line from Toronaga asking Mariko if she is ready to play her part is any indication. And you can't help but wonder if all of this is in any way connected to Crimson Sky. A plan that was revealed to have a full frontal assault on Osaka, killing all the members of the council and installing Toronaga as the new Shogun. And based on some of the scenes we see later on in this trailer, it looks like Crimson Sky could certainly still be on the table. But next we get a scene between the Bishop and Father Martin, with the Bishop asking if Toronaga is up to something and tasking Martin with uncovering what that is. And up until this point, the Catholic Church hasn't been the best of allies to Toronaga, but you do get the sense that at least Father Martin, if nothing else, does see the wisdom in maybe aligning with Toronaga over Ashido and Ochiba, especially now with Ochiba being in control of the council and with her being no fan of the church herself. So at least to Father Martin, Toronaga is starting to look like a much more reasonable ally. But up next, we get a very interesting scene of what appears to be Yabushigi and some other men scaling the walls of Osaka in the dead of night. And if all of this is indeed connected to the Crimson Sky plan, we could potentially be seeing a two-pronged approach. One where Mariko and her company enter the castle as guests, with Yabushigi and his men sneaking into the castle to do their part as well. With Toronaga being the master tactician that he is, I'm really looking forward to seeing what his grand plan is and how it will all unfold. But next, we get a great looking shot of Mariko entering the castle walls of Osaka, followed by another scene with her meeting with Ishido. And clearly, whatever message or proposal that Toronaga sent Mariko with, be it a ruse or the genuine article, Ishido is clearly not hearing it as we hear Mariko state that she cannot delay her departure any longer, followed by Ashido stating that there is nothing further to discuss. And whatever message Mariko is delivering in this scene, I do tend to feel that it is probably more on the side of it being just one ruse or part of Toronaga's plan, and not a genuine deal that Toronaga is trying to strike. But it looks like things continue to escalate as we hear Mariko state that she is free to leave whenever she pleases, with the trailer ending with a glimpse at a nice looking fight scene between Mariko and several of Ishido's guards within the walls of Osaka. And while the trailer presents itself like these two events happen one after the other, obviously if we look a little bit closer, these are two totally different scenes entirely, as Mariko is wearing two completely different outfits in either scene. And if I had to guess, Mariko, after presenting her message or proposal to Ishido, and seemingly not getting a favorable response, it looks like she then prepares to depart from Osaka, with Ashido having other plans in mind. With the upcoming conflict and all of the tension between Toronaga and Ashido, someone like Mariko would be a very valuable hostage for Ashido to hold on to, which could potentially be why he's trying to stop her here. And I also wonder if we will get any scenes between Mariko and Ochiba. As was revealed in a previous episode, Ochiba and Mariko grew up as the closest of friends for a very long time. But obviously, over the years, the two have grown a little bit distant, which is to be expected, with Mariko departing to marry Bontaro, and Ochiba becoming the consort of the Taiko. 
and seeing as these characters have not seen each other since Mariko departed, it could make for a very interesting reunion to say the least. But overall, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the story concludes over these final two episodes. It's also going to be very interesting to see what kind of part Blackthorn is going to play in these final two episodes, and what role he has in the upcoming conflict. But hopefully, we get at least one more Blackthorn and Rodriguez scene before the series ends, as the banter between the two is just priceless. But that is going to do it for our episode 9 trailer breakdown, and definitely leave your thoughts and comments down below. How do you think events will unfold over these final two episodes, and is Crimson Sky going to happen? And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit a like on your way out, and consider subscribing to stay up to date on all of our upcoming content. And don't forget to come and hang out with us live every Monday and Wednesday night at 10pm Eastern Standard Time for our live Shogun discussion. And as always, I want to give a big thank you to everybody out there for watching, and a huge thank you to all of the channel members, and we will see you on the next one.